What's up guys, it's Taja here and I actually want to bring you guys a topic that we haven't really talked about on this channel very much at all and that's the next generation consoles and if you guys could also like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, I really appreciate that and let's get right into this news. So we all know that Sony came out with the blog with Mark Cerny and they gave, you know, the initial specs in the build for the PS5. We also know during E3 2019 xbox actually showed off project scarlet and they gave out what they had in their system pretty much the same but during the e3 press conference which i felt like wasn't really needed what they did could have been inside of you know a blog on on the internet and i actually want to talk about what games we could be seeing on the next generation consoles such as the playstation 5 and whatever project scarlet will be called and some of these games will be 100 percent seen on the next generation and then some of these will also be speculation i'll also depict and let you guys know which one's speculation and which one's for sure so the first game that want to say they'll be going coming to both xbox scarlet and the playstation 5 will be elder scrolls 6 and the reason why i say this is because it's only in pre-development and bethesda they take really long times making their video games and they already just announced that they're working on starfield and starfield's not even set to come out anytime soon itself so since that game is in pre-development we could for sure for sure 100 seeing that in next generation as well as starfield i see i feel like there'll be a next generation console game as well just because you know they just announced it and it's in development and bethesda they they take great time on their video games so I feel like Starfield and both Elder Scrolls 6 will guarantee to be next generation console games. I guess it could be a possibility for Starfield to be on this current generation, but I feel like 100% it will still be on the next generation. It'll be at least a cross um, release. But this is actually a very highly anticipated game and it's developed by Ubisoft and it's actually called Beyond Good and Evil, and which is the second game of the series. And we all know the first one was released in 2003 and Ubisoft said themselves that this game is really nowhere near being finished and you know, they're already working on Watch Dogs, so and also like the the seasons and DLCs for uh, Assassin's Creed. So we really wouldn't be seeing this game for a while. Plus, if they came out and said themselves that it's still in early development, there's no way it's gonna make it out in time. So I, I'm just gonna say, if it was to just come next year, it would definitely be for the next generation consoles. Now this game is actually 100% confirmed, and we got this confirmation at E3 2019, and that's for Halo Infinite. This game is 100% coming out next generation. It's actually coming out in the holidays of 2020 with the Xbox Scarlet, whenever that launches. So that should be a really strong game to propel Xbox forward. I'm pretty sure it'll be a very exciting launch and I'm pretty sure it'll do very good and I myself will try that game out So yes, Halo Infinite is a next generation game 100% also cyberpunk 2077 that will be coming to this current generation of consoles but i also feel it will be remastered and brought to the next generation it only makes sense plus it comes out very close to the time that those consoles are released about like you know first quarter of the year when the consoles come out fourth quarter and we as we saw with the ps3 coming to ps4 and the 360 coming to xbox one we're even still to this day still getting like 360 games and ps3 games brought over to the next generation which is well the current generation so yes we could be seeing cyberpunk 2077 inside the PS5 and the Xbox Scarlet. Now I wanna think of some games that'll be speculation that could be brought to the PS5. These are all PlayStation 4 exclusives though. So we know how Sony do with their exclusives. Usually they remaster quite a bit of them. And in my opinion, I think the games that we'll be that we'll be seeing on PS4 brought to PS5 as like a cross platform. It would have to be, of course, The Last of Us 2. I'm pretty sure that game is gonna do crazy numbers. It's gonna be an amazing game. And it's gonna for sure be brought over to the PS5 with the fidelity they use that system as well as ghost of tsushima since that's coming out way closer to the ps4 that might even be a cross release for both consoles at the same time whoever knows that's if the game comes out that late then the big one hideo kojima's game that's coming out this november death stranding i'm pretty sure that will be a remastered game for the playstation 5 and i'm sure that game is going to do really good and i'm actually looking forward to playing it i haven't really been i really wasn't that excited at all for it at first but ever since they rebuilt it and actually showed what the game looks like i'm pretty on board to play the game but you already know i'm i need to quench that thirst for the last of us two but anyways i feel like the division two would also be brought over just because like the the division two the type of game it is it, like it's a multiplayer online type of game so once you finish the story there's a lot of grind and loot that you do to the game and there's lots of add-ons since it's one of those games that has like in-game content such as destiny so just how destiny one was i feel like this game will be you know brought over to the next generation consoles mainly because you know they're going to keep adding to the game keep adding content and keep the game evolving and they don't want to sit there and keep it back on the last generation because they'll keep players off of the new consoles so it only makes sense that if they bring it over whenever everybody switches over also and it'll be you know all good all fun and dandy but the only thing i don't really know is how would these like remasters work since like we all know like the ps4 games will all be backwards compatible for the, like the ps5 will all be backwards compatible with ps4 games so will there even be a need to release another remaster will they just 
you know like give out a patch update like i'm not sure i might have to make another video specifically regarding to that which i will but anyways let's carry on to the next topic and two more games that i'll be willing to throw in there that could be probably seen and this is just because why the fuck not i mean we could just guess why not i just have to say dying light 2 and star wars jedi i feel like both of those games could be on to the next generation just because i mean why not it's it's coming out pretty much a year before they, those release so i mean they could always be brought over so i feel like those could have a chance to be brought over just because they're fairly still around the same area of like the consoles being shifted over which is pretty much a year before and yeah so i want to know what you guys think about this you guys can leave me comments what games would y'all like to see remastered into the playstation 5 and xbox scarlet whatever that would be called i want to know what you guys think i think it'd be very interesting to see in the, the eyes of all the viewers since you know y'all all get to see from my views and what i have to say i would like to hear what you guys think and yeah if you guys can make sure to drop a like on the video it really helps out the channel i appreciate that and subscribe for more information and videos just like this and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another amazing video